Today I'd like to talk to you about how we can manage change in our projects and our designs. Now many of you would have encountered a reason for change and hopefully we can discuss the main points here today. What we'll look at is a few solutions to these problems and how the process can be a little less daunting than it need be. Why does change happen? Well I've, I've highlighted six possible reasons here why, why change can occur. Uh, we're all aware, I'm sure, that the FAA, NTSB in the US and the CAA in Europe are responsible for changes to aviation legislation and safety and standards, etc. As these bodies have enforcement powers, we as engineers must be precise in our designs and change management to fulfill any regulation changes made by these authorities. We could encounter a failure of a component, for example, due to electrical stress, temperature, vibration, that kind of thing. We then need to think about our design, such as the selection of a, an incorrectly rated component and change it for one that is suitable. We may be involved in a refit or refurbishment of an aircraft and inevitably we can come across an equipment or component that is now obsolete. Our job then would be to source an alternate part or a newer version. The customer requirements can change any time during the project life cycle. For example, there may be an equipment option that the customer wanted, but due to finances decide they no longer require that item. Conversely, the customer may now want something that they didn't originally order. Written specifications such as incorrectly defined connector numbers could also cause uh, changes to be made. And also from other disciplines such as mechanical engineers making changes to the airframe this could result in a change to a harness. So what happens when you make a change? Well, as discussed previously, we as engineers need to know what equipment is affected and when we make a change. We also need to make any change quickly and easily. We need to save time and effort and risk because any change delays the delivery of our product. We need to document all of our changes so that our change note records are accurate for QA purposes. With the best will in the world, a change we made last week or last month, we may not remember with great clarity. 